as you guys mentioned yesterday, one of my favorite, or as we mentioned yesterday, one of my favorite segments for crypto is gaming. I believe it's one of the spaces where if we get millions of crypto wallets in the hands of gamers, it's going to be a game changer for the whole industry. So next up on stage is Andre from Dream Team. Uh, thank you. My name is Andre. Uh, welcome. Uh, today I would like to tell you how our three completely different markets, completely different spheres, uh, gaming, blockchain and business uh, will interconnect to each other. So uh, I've worked more than 10 years in marketing, but uh, more importantly, I'm a gamer all my life. Uh, we started gaming when it was like just a couple of pixels, uh, just Super Mario games, arcades, yeah, it developed to some uh, more fancy games and now it's more than 100 billion market around the world, uh, the biggest entertainment market and playing with a computer is nice. Uh, it's, it could be fun, uh, it will be fun, but uh, today the most popular games are competitive games. It's when people play between each other, multiplayer, everywhere in the world, from America to China, and playing these games professionally, it's called eSports. But uh, let's take a one step back uh, and see how it all started. It all started in the beginning of uh, 2000s. We've been playing in computer clubs uh, with the old PCs. We didn't have an internet uh, to play online. And tournaments in eSports were being held for just a couple of beers. And that was our dream. But with the development of internet uh, and good PCs, uh, we've managed to make tournaments. And it became uh, more uh, worldwide topic, uh, the gaming, it's uh, WCG in San Francisco. Uh, if you look closely, uh, here are the yellow shirts. Uh, you can find our founder and the CEO, Alex Kachanowski. He went all his paths uh, from just uh, the casual professional gamer to the team owner, uh, to the businessman and to like uh, creator of this project. So a as the business developed, we've been developing with it. Uh, here is Stable Center just nearby. Uh, it's the finals of uh, top uh, esports game League of Legends. And the greatest thing about this picture is that it's only the 000.1% of the audience who are watching the esports. Uh, because these finals uh, have been viewed for more than 70 million uh, people around the world and it surpassed even the NBA finals and Stanley Cup playoffs. The audience of the esports is growing and will reach more than half a million users this year as well as prize money. Just in five years uh, it uh, become like more than 100 millions of dollars and that guy, I know him from working from Navi. Uh, this year, previous year, he earned uh, more than $2 million just playing computer games. It's not his salary, it's only the prize money. Uh, sports clubs are already in esports. Some are just like taking the safe steps like uh, creating their division in FIFA or NHL. Some are by now the big clubs and integrate into the esports completely, but all of them uh, recognize the esports uh, as the next big thing, which they are looking very closely. Big brands are also in esports. For example, Amazon bought Twitch. Twitch is a, a highest popularity broadcasting platform. It's basically like uh, TV for gamers. Uh, Mercedes-Benz are sponsoring the events uh, in Dota 2 and League of Legends. Uh, Tencent invested $10 billion in China esports market. Turner makes uh, the tournament uh, here um, in USA. It's called T-League. It's uh, the best uh, tournament in terms of production uh, where what we have seen, but uh, there's a catch. Uh, if everything is so perfect, uh, why am I telling you all of this? Uh, there are a couple of uh, big problems on esports market, and the first one is insecurity and fraud. So even on a top level, uh, for example, the esports team. We are the guys from esports. Uh, I've been working in uh, Navi. It's one of the 
biggest and most popular teams in the world as a sponsorship director. And in our case, with oral legal docs and financial people, non-payments are around $700,000 from prize money and sponsorship payments. Even with the documents, sometimes like uh, they just don't pay you and it can happen otherwise. So recently, uh, one team was sponsored uh, by one brand, let's not say it, and they just, you know, they overslept and they didn't come to tournament. But the money was paid in advance. Uh, this happens all around and uh, even on the top level, if you have such problems on amateur level, it's even worse. Uh, secondly, uh, the, there is absolutely no tools to build up your brand. For example, right now, to create a team, you should go to the bank, make bank account, open legal entity, sign contracts with teams. It takes like two, three months and a couple of thousands of dollars for a casual gamer, it's unbearable. He can do such like complicated things. And there is no knowledge, no database where he can get this business source. And thirdly, and most importantly, the market is very fragmented. So if you uh, want to drive, for example, and earn money on it, you download Uber or Lyft, right? And you can do it. So there's one point tree at the industry like Airbnb. Yeah, if you want to rent a house or land a house, you go to the Airbnb. In eSports, e there's absolutely no tools like that. You have to search everything manually. You, you go to the LinkedIn, find the people who are responsible for sponsorship, who are the managers of the team, and it, it works manually. Big business should not work like that. Uh, so we've been singing for a quite a long time until we got old, uh, and we came up with the idea of the Dream Team. Dream Team uh, is an infrastructure platform and a payment gateway for the eSports. So we're coping with uh, these three problems uh, by doing three main things. First one is a blockchain-based secured payment ba gateway. So basically, uh, we are providing smart contracts for any kind of financial operation on esports market. Prize money payouts, player salaries, sponsorship fees, uh, media rights sales, crowdfunding, everything will work on the blockchain using smart contracts and using our Dream Team token. So everything will work uh, securely and transparently. Uh, secondly, uh, we're providing a kind of a business tools for gamers to de develop themselves. Uh, so right now we have a, a LinkedIn for gamers, uh, so they can find a team for them or team can find a player. So with a very detailed uh, analytics, uh, management tools and other stuff. So it's your like path from amateur to novice and to pro. Uh, and as a top notch of all of it, we're building a marketplace where we connect uh, B2C and B2B in one place. So from one side, we're providing any gamer an opportunity to monetize and to, to earn money on their passion. And we're giving the businesses uh, an opportunity to find these guys and to sponsor them. So uh, we are expanding the whole market in wits, yeah, and creating the $50 billion economy. Uh, so basically, Dream Team, uh, is like uh, the entry point uh, to the esports. Uh, gaming is a very digital sphere. Uh, so that's why we can implement uh, smart contracts uh, execution in in a very precise way. For example, um, here is an, uh, is an example of uh, tournament prize money distribution. We can track the exact match ID, exact player ID, and like the game ID, and Right after the few seconds, uh, prize money from uh, the tournament will, according to the smart contract, will be distributed not only for the team, but for the players who have also smart contracts with the team. Uh, right now, it takes around six months, uh, for example, un until the money are transferred from the tournament and to the team, and sometimes they even are not transferred at all. Uh, also, uh, we give a additional attention to the data which we aggregate through the Dream Team. Uh, imagine we have like 100 million gamers and what their habits, what their age, how uh, their daily life like affect their gaming. We want to analyze all of that stuff uh, and in the end of the day forecast if this player can become 
the pro if this player can become a real star imagine if you could forecast that like messi will play so good would you sponsor him for some little money in the perspective of uh, his growth uh, same for us uh, awards are great but uh, Advisory board uh, of the Dream Team is also powerful. Uh, we are connecting to the like biggest uh, partners and advisors from both esports and financial staff. Uh, we partner with ESL; it's uh, the biggest tournament organizer. With Exola, it's a payment system on the Twitch uh, and other biggest entities. Uh, we have a very nice traction. Uh, these are a little bit old information. Uh, we reached more than half a million users uh, just a few days ago uh, with only one game and uh, integrated the second game, League of Legends. Uh, we've raised $6 million on the first token sale in December and right now we're running the second phase of token sale and already got four million, so 10 in total. Uh, and I, I don't have a slide for this, but uh, just uh, two weeks ago, one of the leading venture capitals, uh, Mangrove Capital Partners, joined us uh, as an investor, both in tokens uh, and in equity. Uh, they invested in Skype and Wix, so we uh, value them not just like an investor, but uh, the contacts and uh, the like, guys who can build up, uh, who will help build up our brand in terms of uh, monetization and uh, future expansion. Uh, basically, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you find out something for you today uh, and have a good continuation of the event. Thank you.